climbing chalk, or magnesium carbonate, was first used in 1955 by a climber named John Gill, who was attempting the first ever B8 and needed a little extra grip. Magnesium carbonate comes from magnesite, which is magnesium carbonate mixed with iron and carbonate crystals. Magnesite, once mined, is heated to around 400 degrees Fahrenheit to get rid of the iron and carbonate. The heat separates the iron and carbonate from the magnesium carbonate, but does not break up the magnesium carbonate because it is ionically bonded. Once the magnesite is heated, uh, the magnesium carbonate is in a solid block and can be used as is, crushed into a powder, or put it even into liquid form. Magnesium carbonate can also be made in the lab by a reaction between soluble magnesium salt and sodium bicarbonate. The reaction produces magnesium carbonate, sodium chloride, water, and carbon dioxide. Magnesium carbonate is insoluble in water because the lattice energy, which is the energy needed to break the lattice structure of an ionic compound, is greater than the hydration energy, which is the energy released when water is added to the <laughs> carbonate is insoluble in water, and sweat is made mainly of water. When applied to climbers' hands, it makes them sweat-free and dry for a better grip.